we can bring out the wicked avatar. Harry Styles is having some Wi-Fi issues. What can you do to stop me? Raigeke, please let me play the game. Lean in, lean in, lean in real close. Lean in real close. He got me. Are you really playing the Ring Dragon of Raw deck? Am I going against the god? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zion coming at you with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. And we are still focused on the Monarch deck, but taking a suggestion on adding the Wicked Avatar to our deck. We've made a few changes to accommodate the Wicked Avatar being here. If you don't know, the Wicked Avatar is going to show you why it has its name as the Wicked Avatar. So now that the Wicked Avatar is on the field, he cannot activate spell or trap cards for two turns. Also, any monster he puts on the field, if that monster has any attack points, I'm always going to have 100 more than whatever attack points. And to support it, we have added the first Monarch trap card, which we can use as a tribute, which I did not know. And I was like, this might be key because we need three tributes to get this out on the field. And we've added a few more, I don't know, delay type let me get a chance to play the game too type cards like Marshmallow, because sometimes our draws aren't that great and we might need some time got one sword to reveal in like just in case we need it just in case we need to buy some time and a battle fader i have yet to use a battle fader but just in case and hopefully we get to showcase the wicked avatar and of course leave a like any other suggestions any changes any cards that might benefit the monarch deck down below in the comments okay first opponent is hillbilly interesting name if i was playing dead by daylight i would assume i'm going against the hillbilly the one with the chainsaw you know all right so so far looking at our hand we can work with it because we can get light and darkness out you know i did not take out light and darkness don't even think about it ever since i added it <laughs> he's here to stay true draco heritage i think i should be scared during your main phase you can draw Never mind, he didn't need it, it was just for show. I don't know this deck too well. Alright, this would be interesting. Draw. Okay, Edios. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and activate the Monarch Stormfront. He's gonna activate his card, Majesty, so he can draw one true Draco. Yep, we're not gonna stop it. It is what it is. He draws his true Draco. I think to avoid an incident with Ash Blossom, I'm getting smarter. We're just gonna summon Edios. Okay, he has an effect that can stop us from using our effect. Okay, what is this? It's about the tribute summon. Okay. He He has the Monarch Stormfront. He has the Monarch Stormfront. I have yet to run into anyone using the Monarch Stormfront except me. What? What is this? <gasps> so let me be honest with y'all. Lean in, lean in, lean in real close. Lean in real close. He got me. He'll Billy got me. He got me good. He got me with my own card. How do I feel about this game now? Not feeling too confident. I have no more moves. Wow. I am <laughs> flabbergasted. I can't believe this. I have never. What is this? Can immediately after this effect resolves tribute summon one true Draco. <sighs> Why? We do have that. We, we have that kind of card in the Monarch deck. Oh, we might have to fast forward through this duel if I don't if I don't draw anything. All right, let's <clears throat> let's not embarrass myself. All right, we're embarrassing myself. Technically, it's not over. Oh, this is getting hard. All right, Edia, do you think this is all we got? Edia, he's not even running a true monarch deck. He's just using the card because it benefits his deck. Please let me play the game. <laughs> okay. Well, <clears throat> editor, editor me. You know what to do. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. <laughs> We got next game. Yikes. I'm outdone. Because we can get light and darkness out, but uh, it might not stay too long. Edia first. And we all seen the play. Gonna bring forth Edios. He's gonna allow us to tribute now. Now we take the two. And then we summon light and darkness. Now no effects can go off. We end our turn. So we have one way to deny him from getting, I guess, like two or three things not on the field, but that's about it. It's not happening. No Winged Dragon of Raw. Are you really playing the Winged Dragon of Raw deck? Am I going against the god? Show me. What else do you have? 
Okay, I was kidding. Please, don't lower my life points too much. <laughs> I mean, my attack points too much. Goodbye, Millennium Revelation. Next. Oh, that, 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 that has a lot of attack. That's not happening. Great. Even less attack, but at least you didn't get whatever that did. Oh, great. You have another effect that you want to use. It's not going to work. <laughs> That's right. Too bad you don't go to the grave. You sure you don't activate that face down before I go? No? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Light and Darkness. It is. So we bring Edia back. Bye-bye. Edia's back. Then I'll activate Edia's effect, because we know this so well. To bring forth Edios. He's allowed us to tribute summon, <laughs> but we cannot do that. It is his turn. I draw. Perfect. First, we'll activate Pantheism from the Grave. By banishing it, we can search out any monarch type card from our deck, and we are going to go for Domains and the Monarchs Erupt. Forcing him into a tricky situation here. I'm hoping he goes for the domains and realizes the monarchs erupt will negate all of his effects if I tribute summon a monster. As he reads, perfect. Now we activate Domain of the True Monarchs to set up for the Okie Doke. Then we activate the Monarch Stormfront. Now that we've activated it, we can bring out the Wicked Avatar by tributing three monsters on the field. We can bring out the Wicked Avatar. And then we activate Edia from the graveyard to bring back our Pantheism to our hand. Appreciate ya. And now we activate Edios from beyond the grave. By banishing Edios, we can bring back Edia to the field in defense mode. I just did that so I could get some attack points. For my Wicked Avatar, he didn't have anything. So I, when I hit you over the head, it hurts. And now I end my turn. So now that the Wicked Avatar is on the field, he cannot activate spell or trap cards for two turns. Also, any monster he puts on the field, yeah, he's like, oh, it's only 900 attack points? No. If that monster has a lot of attack points, any attack points, I'm always going to have 100 more than whatever attack points. So now, what we need to do is prioritize beating him up within two turns. And with our draw, we are not going to do that. I don't have the potential to do it, but, you know, we can always attempt. So we're just going to change you to attack position. Why not? Let's beat him up. 800. Yeah, 900. I bet they're like, what kind of a deck is this man running? Don't worry about all that. Turn two. All right, he's free to use Spell of Traps. I draw. Not great, but just in case. We have Messenger of Peace. Let's just battle with what we have. Let's save our cards in our hands for later. Beat him up over the head again for 900 and 800 attack points. Let's see you make a play, bud. I just realized I could use Messenger of Peace. Okay, just wants to get that out there. Mound of the Bound. I draw. Towards the Revealing Light. Hmm. We'll play... Messenger of Peace. <laughs> Messenger of Peace. Now any monster above 1500 can attack. But we're below 1500. Attack. It will be a beatdown of the ages. What can you do to stop me? Raigeke! That is one way you can stop me. I don't appreciate it, but... <laughs> What's that? Why did he say? I'm confused. Why the Wicked Avatar is still here? Yes, I must pay the toll to keep it up. Ugh. Let's just reinforce the army. To bring out Edia. We thought you got rid of Edia. I thought the Wicked Avatar would be gone, but for some reason the Wicked Avatar is not gone. Edia's back, and guess what? Using the power of Edios from beyond the grave. By banishing him, I can bring forth the Edia in the graveyard. But I can only put them in defense mode. And then we'll activate March of the Monarchs. Just so you know, tributes summoned monsters can't be uh, attacked with card effects. See, that would make sense. Why Regeki, you know, wouldn't work. I don't, I don't know why the Wicked Avatar was not affected. You have one more turn, bud. What are you gonna do? I will tell you this. I did not expect to win with a hand like this. Monster Reborn. Cash Tira, then I'll activate Maxi. Hello. Thank you for the 2500 attack. You can't battle me, silly goose, silly goose. You can't attack me. Messenger of Peace is on the field. Do you see how tricky of a situation this is? You're playing my game. I draw. Messenger of Peace, no, goodbye. 
We will not pay the toll anymore. Now we will beat him. I will not delay your doom. Go. Wicked Avatar! Was that? Oh, what a terrible time to have used Mound. Okay, I made one small change. Just added one escalation of the Monarchs. Just, just in case I'm able to do something crazy, okay? But it would require me to have both the Monarch Stormfront and Escalation of the Monarchs, but we threw it in there just in case we could do something crazy. All right, the hand could be a lot better, but we're we're gonna do this. Harry Styles is having some Wi-Fi issues. And what's the, oh uh, no, it's a branded. Let's just ash it. I've gone against branded and I, and I have branded. I have Despy is what I mean. And I don't know if that was the time to do it, but why not? Oh. It was the correct thing to do. Connection felt. Never mind. Harry needs to see about his internet issues. All right, we have our next match. And he's a blue eyes player. Fantastic. I select one, I'm gonna go with right. Aha, uh -huh. bet it's not the one you need. I guess it wasn't the one I, he needed. I draw, and I don't necessarily need this right now. So we're just gonna play Marshmallow in face on defense mode and end our turn. Nothing more. What did that do? Special summon. So it was indeed the card he needed. Blue eyes. Stunning. Now does he have the other blue eyes dragon? What is that? Mm-hmm. He's doing something. Chaos! That does piercing damage. Double. He beat me. He beat me in one move. Really two. Didn't even matter that it was Marshmallow. This is not a first turn deck. I mean hand. This is not a first turn hand. Oh, a level seven. Red eyes. Black meteor. Oh, we're special summoning. I think not. Ash Blossom, please stop that egg. Appreciate it. Oh, but continue with your play. I'm sure you have more. Oh, that was it? <laughs> Silly you. I draw him something good. Great. So, the only thing we can do is activate Pantheism. Pantheism. And discard our domain to draw two. Then we'll activate Pantheism. Let's see if we can't make a play off of what we just drew. Let's bring the Wicked Avatar back out, shall we? So we're gonna show him three of the same cards, making him choose one for us to gain into our hand. Of course, he has to choose the Monarch Stormfront. Appreciate you. Now I'll activate the Monarch Stormfront. Then I'll activate, oh, summon Edia to activate her ability to bring out Edios. And Edios allows us to tribute. Now, we know this very well. We tribute his monster, our two monsters, to bring out the Wicked Avatar. And then we activate Edia from the grave so that we can bring Pantheism back, yes? And Pantheism is back in our hand. And he can activate spell cards and we could bring back Edia if we wanted to. I think for the attack points we can. We'll activate Domain of the Two Monarchs to cut him off. But I think we're gonna wait on bringing Edia back and then just hit him for 100, because it's funny. And end our turn. So he's locked from using his spell or trap cards from the Wicked Avatar, right? He's locked from using his extra deck from Domain of the Two Monarchs. And any monster he summons, I will always have more attack points. The only way he gets rid of this card, I thought a Raigeki would do it. I don't know why this card is still on the field after the Raigeki was used. Must have missed something in my own gameplay. Red Eyes Fusion. I guess he can do that. I don't know if Domain stops that. I mean, he can't activate spell cards for two turns. So yeah, yeah. A wicked Avatar stops that. Okay. Red Eyes coming back. So is his egg. So he'll be able to summon his... Red Eyes, Black Meteor Dragon, and I assume he's gonna summon his egg as well. There's the egg. Will you be tributing for your Red Eyes Black Dragon? Nope, he will not. And that's turn one. All right, we draw. Draw. Messenger of Peace, hmm. Seems like if I knock this in the graveyard, he'll just come back. He will come back. What's the goal? What's optimal here? Okay, either way, he brings the card back. Ah, <sighs> get a fusion. Not the biggest fan of anything else. So right now his egg, yep, can tribute himself to special summon a monster from his deck. Maybe I should've went for the life points. Hmm. And there he is, red eyes, black dragon. How you doing, bud? A classic, a Yu-Gi-Oh classic. Prepare to be beaten. 
this is a fake. No, this doesn't mean anything until the second turn. Maybe. There comes the Red-Eyes Fusion again. So we know he has two on hand. Either way, he can't use his extra deck or spell cards right now. My move, I draw. Edia, hmm, don't need another Edia. All right, so we have no choice but to attack. Go with his Red-Eyes. All right, now that Red-Eyes is gone, we'll act like we have a card that can do something, right? So what is your next play, Red-Eyes player? Gosh darn it, Rageki. Now last time you survived, Wicked. This time he does not survive, I just don't understand. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't considered a monster with no attack points, I just don't know. How many miracle fusions, red eyes fusions can he use? One? Yes. Okay. Alright, so we only have to deal with this bad boy. Hmm. Seems like it's the only time I would be able to activate it. Battle Fader. I don't want any more damage. What? I must not have read. I draw. Can activate it from the field. Doesn't look like I do. Pantheism. Goodbye, Pantheism. Hello, two cards. Okay. So we only have one play here. We will tribute summon by removing Battle Fader and summoning Vanity's Fiend. What can we activate in here? Pantheism. Maybe Pantheism can show me a way out of this. Now I'll show him March of the Monarchs, the Monarchs Erupt, and the Monarch Stormfront. I really want the Monarchs Erupt, but I doubt he's gonna give me that. Actually, I don't need the Monarchs Erupt for the play that I'm gonna have to do. Okay, not what we needed, but it is what we have. We're just gonna activate it, and then we move to battle phase, and we commit <laughs> death by each other. And now we activate Edios, so we can bring Edia to the field, so we have some type of way to defend ourselves, and then we activate Messenger of Peace. Truthfully, if I was thinking, I probably should have gone for the first Monarch. You can't, you can't hit me. What's going on here? Why did you tribute that? You could hit me with the other thing. My move. I draw. Question is, do I pay this price now? No, we don't pay the price. All right. Make some shake. All right, Pantheism from the grave. You shall give me what I want. I shall show you three. See, he wouldn't want his effects negated, so he won't give me the Monarchs Erupt. He doesn't want his monster tributed, so he won't give me the Monarch Stormfront. So he has to give me Tenacity of the Monarch. What? <laughs> Interesting. I activate Domain of the True Monarchs to lower Mobius's level. So now I tribute Edia to bring out Mobius. And I'll activate Mobius's effect to destroy that card. And no more spell cards. And then I'll activate Edia's effect from the grave. So I can bring back Pantheism to my hand. Recycle, reuse. Thank you. And then that card. Alright, now we battle. Mobius, beat him up and we end our turn. So he's still X'd out of his extra deck. We have the Monarchs Erupt to stop any effect like that dragon egg from popping off. There's the egg. And now we activate the Monarchs Erupt to stop his effects. Sorry, but that doesn't work, right? That was a tribute summon. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, still went through. And that was it, because you don't get your effects either way. So I don't know what the play you were going for there. Ooh, Monster Reborn. What card should I use to beat you up with? Summon Skull. Why not? I activate Monster Reborn. Oh, never mind. We're going for Archfiend. I didn't think I could bring him back. Archfiend. Remember this card? It's yours. But now it's mine. But his effects are negated. Do you have something? Okay, but your effects are negated. Congratulations, kiddo. Move out my way. Attack, Archfiend. Attack your master. This is pretty evil of me. A face down defense position monster? Don't tell me you're getting nervous. Up, oh, the egg is coming back. Recycle, renew, reuse. And the end of the turn. My move. Will you survive this turn? Draw, Mobius. Bye bye. And I'll beat you with your own card. And that's GG's.